These four tools can make you a hero in your own household. I'm going to tell you what these things are and how to use them coming up next. I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to you? We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now, at the top of the video, I talked about tools that could make you a hero in your own home, and what they are are bicycle tools. So, if you've got children, let me tell you, you could become their superhero just by owning a few bicycle tools. Now what you see here is a bicycle toolkit, and it's a little different than the tools that you have in your toolbox. If you're a do-it-yourselfer and you have children with bicycles, these are the four tools you'll probably need for common repairs. So let me show you what they are and how to use them. Before you try to take the tire here off the rim, just make certain that you let all the air out of the tire. Now, what you want to do once the air is out, you want to squeeze the tire all the way around. You want to break that bead and push the tire toward the center of the rim. We want to take our tire levers here. We're just going to slide down here and I'm inserting it between the rim and the rubber and then I'm prying it a little bit and forcing the rubber over the rim. Make sure you keep the first one in place as you work your way around. Once you get the tire separated on one side, it makes it really easy just to pull the tire off the rim. And there we go. This is a spoke wrench. Sometimes a bicycle wheel goes out of true. What that means is that wheel, it develops a wobble and it becomes really, really noticeable if it's not corrected. A spoke wrench helps you accomplish that. And sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll break a spoke and you just need to replace it. And again, that's where a spoke wrench comes in really handy. And you want to put it on that spoke and then you want to just turn counterclockwise. Then I'm going to just take a flathead screwdriver. Then you're free to remove the spoke. This is a chain rivet extractor. This here is a master link tool. Now when it comes to removing a bicycle chain, you want to look for the master link. Now our chain doesn't have one, so we're going to have to use the rivet extractor. If you look closely at those dots, those are pins, and we're going to use our rivet extractor to push the pin through the link so we can remove the chain. Now don't push the pin out all the way if it's a chain that you're going to continue to use because you're going to have to push that pin back inside the link. If you plan on replacing the chain, it doesn't matter. Our chain is pretty rusty, so it needs to be replaced. Here's our new bicycle chain and it comes with a quick link. That's a master link and we're going to be using our master link tool. Let me show you how it works. We take our master link tool and we insert it in the chain and then we just we squeeze and that disengages the chain. And when it's time to put the chain back together, it's just as easy. Pull the handle apart and that's it, it's set. Having these four tools in your toolbox could really be the difference between getting your kids back out there playing on their bicycles or, well, driving the bicycle to the shop and the shop having that bike for a couple weeks. So four tools that I demonstrated today, they're the most common tools in terms of repairs that may be needed on your bicycle 
or your children's bicycle. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check, well, check things out for yourself. Become a hero in your kid's life. This is Leah saying you can do this.